decided that I would do a little video blogging today. Talk about a few things that have come up in the media that are just really bothering me. Like, why is there so much hot mess out here? Like, I don't, I don't understand at all for the life of me. Like, what is going on with the world? I think everybody just needs to go to church or something because it's just a lot of nonsense out here. Um, starting off with the music industry, like, first of all, I don't understand where these rappers get these names from, like, Waka Flocka, like, really, I'm sorry, but I can't even get down with you because your name itself, what does that mean? Is that in another language? I'm really confused right now. And then all these random dances, like... I feel like there's so many dances that it doesn't even make sense. Some of these dances are just ridiculous. Like, could come up with a dance imitating me flipping pancakes and put a hype beat behind it and then you know it'll all of a sudden be real hype you know everybody will be excited about it you know it's just like what <laughs> and then I just don't understand all this disrespectful ridiculous music and now, don't get me wrong, I myself listen to some of that stuff when I'm going out, if I'm partying, you know, hanging out. But I think there's an issue when people are listening to this stuff every day, all day, for, for no reason whatsoever. Like, while you're in the car, driving to work, driving to school, while you're at work, while you're at school, on your way home, you know, while you're working out. It's just like, you're, it's just a constant intake of nonsense. And then... You know, it it comes out in our everyday lives. Like I see people just doing the most ridiculous things, and I just all I can say is is that they're living their life by the nonsense that they're intaking every day. It's just really frustrating. Um, there's this group called the First Ladies. I think they just came out in Atlanta, and they have this song called "I'm Selling Pussy." I'm selling pussy. What? <laughs> I just, I saw the video and I was just like, are you serious right now? I just really couldn't believe it. Like, they need to take that money that they're getting for selling their quote unquote pussy and go buy them some class because obviously nobody's taught them then. It's just really, oh, just disgusts me. And then we have these athletes who just keep doing dumb stuff and, you know, I don't want to sit here and say that they should be role models and people should be making them their role models, but it's just like so many people look up to them and I feel like it's unfortunate that as a society we have chosen these types of individuals to be our role models, but they somehow they become that. Um, but there's this one particular guy, his name is Antonio Cromarty. I believe I pronounced that right. He plays for the New York Jets. And kind of funny because he, I guess, was doing an interview and he was listing off all his kids. And 
It just doesn't make sense that you have all these kids and they're all like around the same age. I don't understand. I don't get it. I have um, Karis, who is three. I have my my junior, which is three. I have a my daughter, who just turned three as of yesterday. Um, I have another son named Tyler. Yeah, so he turns three in December. I got another uh, daughter that was born October 16th named London. Uh, another daughter that was born named Leilani, who's uh, two years old. And uh, I have uh, my newborn with my wife. Her name is Jersey. I really just don't. And then we have um, people fighting in clubs over nothing, i.e. there was a case, um, I think it was a few weeks ago, it was a, um, a man, or two men I believe, they were deaf and they're communicating in sign language because they're deaf and someone thinks that they're throwing up gang signs so they stab them. Robin, police say that very early this morning, two men who cannot hear or speak were here at this bar celebrating a birthday here at Northeast 8th Street and North Federal Highway when they were stabbed by a 19-year-old man. And police say the incident was instigated by a 45-year-old woman with a history of drug arrests who thought the victims were using gang signs instead of what they were really doing, communicating in sign language. Why? Even if they were throwing up a gang sign, they weren't bothering you. I don't understand why you needed to stab this man. He didn't do anything to you. Like, ugh. Lord help me. Then we got the mailman who is caught taking a boo-boo in somebody's yard. Oh, thank you. I get a 20. Don Durfler certainly got more than a 20 when he was babysitting his son and waiting for the mailman Wednesday. I thought he had a bunch of packages for us. But when he spotted the mail carrier out his front window, he witnessed him do something unthinkable in broad daylight, just feet from his neighbor's house. Started pulling his pants down, started defecating. And at that point, I grabbed my camera and started taking pictures. He says he had plenty of time to take those photos, which clearly show the mail carrier in the act. Officials with the Postal Service can't believe it. I'm not even going to comment. I just don't understand, like, why? I mean, you could have went to the corner, to the store, you know. I don't understand. You couldn't wait. You couldn't hold it for five minutes. I don't understand. That's disgusting. And that, ugh, that, that makes me mad. <coughs> Excuse me. It's 12 o'clock. Sorry, it's 12 o'clock. Um... And then this last thing, this is just an ongoing issue and battle for me because it's in my area of interest. Um, as some of my uh, subscribers know, I am intending on going to law school once I finish college. And I want to be an advocate for urban educational systems um, or a lobbyist of some sort. And... It just irritates me how much education in America is put on the back burner and it's, you know, they claim it's a priority, but it just seems like it's really, really not. There was a superintendent in Ithaca, Michigan. I'm from Michigan, by the way. And um, he wrote a letter to our governor because, you know, I don't, if any of you guys are familiar with what's been going on in Michigan, but our governor has been making all types of cuts to um, budget cuts and he's a Republican and he's made all these budget cuts that um, leave those in the lower and middle class with nothing basically um, or they affect us the most and it's just been an uproar because you know all of like a lot of the federal assistant programs and things like that are being taken away yet tax breaks are being given to big corporations and people in you know high income level brackets are getting you know a lot of breaks and it just 
doesn't really make any sense. So, anyways, this superintendent from Ithaca writes our governor a letter because um, it said that our state is in the top states in the country who spend money on prisons. And he says in the, in the letter um, that our prison system spent our 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 government spends thirty to forty thousand dollars a year per prisoner. Thirty to forty thousand dollars a year per prisoner. There's people who don't even make that in a year. I don't understand. Why are we spending so much money on these prisoners? These prisoners get three meals a day, clean clothes on their back, they get internet and cable. A full access to a full library, access to education, a weight room, you know, health insurance benefits. Like, why are they getting all these incentives and amenities to be in prison? I don't understand. Like, I know that it's a right, you know, they feel like they have their right to have these things, but I don't have health insurance and I'm not in prison. I'm out here trying to better my life and, you know, make something of myself. I have plenty of friends who don't have health insurance. There's people on the streets who don't eat three meals a day, you know. And granted, I'm sure the meals in prison aren't spectacular, but they're better than nothing, you know. In a weight room and, and all this other stuff. Like, there's, there's so many districts that can't even offer their students, you know, even half of that. So why are we giving it to people that are in prison? I, I just don't get it. You know, these districts, these school districts are fighting for $7,000 per student per year and sometimes can't even get that. But we can spend thirty to 40000 on one prisoner. Where are the priorities? Like, really, really, really. Okay, so I go on Facebook the other day and I'm reading someone's wall and I see this comment made by a Caucasian male on one of my friend's walls. He says, and I quote, can someone call Africa to ask about their return policy? I will gladly ship you black maggots and express packaging and pay the restocking fee. Really? I mean, I know Racism still exists, and I know that it probably will never be gone, but why? Do you even know my friend? I doubt it. I don't understand why you... <sighs> Stuff like that just really disheartens me, and it frustrates me because I don't understand why people have so much hatred in them. So, this has just been a vent, you know, um, again, like I said, I came to do a video blog on the hot mess that I keep reading and seeing in the news and the media and I just needed to come and share it with you guys so all right bye